welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Today I'm here to share with you my top 10 favorite WW recipes of all time. You guys have been asking for this video for quite a while, so it took me some time to go through the hundreds, and I mean hundreds of recipes that I've done over the course of my YouTube channel. And I scoured and scoured and picked my favorite top 10. And I'm here to share those with you today. I have a little bit of everything. I have some breakfast, lunch and dinner ideas, as well as some snacks slash dessert recipes. And these are my favorites, like I said, of all time. Now this list could have been 20 or 30 or 40 items long because there are that many recipes that I've made that I absolutely love and make time and time again. So if you'd like a part two to this video, leave it down in the comments. So before we jump into today's video, if you're excited, give it a big, huge thumbs up. And don't forget, if you're new or you're watching and you're not subscribed, I'd absolutely love to have you. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box down below where you're going to find my meal planner. We are in the final stages of the last batch. So if it's something you're interested in, definitely pick one up before they're gone for good. They won't be back until 2022. So definitely pick one up so you can successfully plan not only your meals for the week, but also make your grocery list and take it with you to the grocery store. Also on my nutrition coaching website, you'll find personalized macro and calorie calculation essential. You have to know how many calories and macros you should be eating to be successful. So take advantage of that service, whether you're on WW or not. I also offer 30 and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one sessions. Let me be your one-on-one -on -one coach, help you. We'll navigate through any struggles. We'll set some goals and we'll help you reach them through one-on-one -on -one coaching. So definitely take advantage of that as well. You'll also find links and discounts to all of my very favorite things. And last but not least, my Facebook group, another community that would love to have you. So head on over and join us. All of the recipes I'm going to share with you today are on my recipe website. I'll put that right here and that will also be linked down in the description box for you. So we have 10 of my all time favorite WW recipes to talk about. So let's get started. this was quite the feat. It was very hard for me to narrow down out of the hundreds of recipes that I've done over the last couple of years, my top 10. But these are the recipes that I gravitate towards on a regular basis, recipes that I've made more than once, and also recipes that you guys have said that you love and that you've recreated for your family. I'm going to pop in a picture of the recipe here off of my recipe website. And again, all of the ingredients, how to prepare the recipes, points and calories, are on my recipe website. You can screenshot, copy and paste, print, whatever you need to do for these recipes, but these 10 are absolute must makes. Number one on this list is probably my most popular and recreated recipe, and that is my queso chicken. This was one of my very favorite dinners. Who doesn't love queso, first of all? And then you top a breast of chicken with this, with spices and herbs. It was absolutely incredible. It's a very low point, low calorie main portion of your meal. Pair this with your favorite vegetable and carbohydrate. We loved it. This also makes great leftovers, a great meal prep, and you can even cut this up and wrap it up in a tortilla and it makes a delicious queso chicken wrap. Favorite number two is another one of my very, very popular recreated recipe. And these are my 30 minute buffalo chicken meatballs. These are delicious delicious. They make a great meal and they also make a great appetizer. If you just form them into a little bit smaller meatballs, they make a fantastic appetizer. A lot of you have reached out to me and let me know that you've made this for your family and that everyone loves them. Husband, kids, the entire family. They're very easy to make. It's a 30 minute recipe and generally I can have this done in less than 30 minutes. You can control the spice by adding more or less of the buffalo sauce. And again, it's a protein packed meal that you can pair with your favorite vegetable and starchy side. Favorite number three is one that I recently put out on my channel and that's my artichoke chicken bake. Oh my gosh, is this so good. I mentioned with this recipe that I had never had artichokes this way. Really the only time I've ever even had artichokes is in a dip. So I was a little leery of this recipe. I didn't even know where to find the artichokes in the grocery store but let me just tell you how incredibly 
delicious this recipe was. I ate this for several days and I honestly can't wait to make it again. It's creamy and it's cheesy and it is so, so incredibly good. I just had this with a vegetable because it's such a decadent, rich chicken breast with that cheese and the artichoke. It was fantastic. Again, another huge household favorite. Number four is my favorite and one of my most popular recreated breakfasts, and this is my berry French toast casserole. If you love French toast, if you love pancakes, if you love berries, this is the perfect breakfast recipe for you. You get a huge serving for the smart points and you can top it with pretty much anything. A little bit of light butter, some syrup, some whipped cream, or just put a little bit of powdered sugar on top and it's delicious. You feel like you're cheating, but you're not. It is so good. I liked to pair this with some eggs. You can even have it with some turkey bacon or some sausage. Again, a fantastic option for breakfast. My next favorite is a dessert, and this is my peanut butter pie. This is a no-bake peanut butter pie. And yes, it's WW friendly and calorie friendly, and you guys have also really, really liked this recipe. It tastes to me a lot like a full-fat peanut butter pie. It has a little bit different consistency and I topped it with some chocolate chips, some Lily's chocolate chips, and it was absolute perfection. It's simple to make because it's a no bake and it's another family favorite. If you love pie and you love peanut butter, definitely make this. My next favorite lunch meal prep that I did or lunch slash dinner recipe recently were my teriyaki meatballs. So many of you commented on my video and said that those looked incredible. They're really good. My husband ate them before I even had a chance, and so I said, please don't eat them all. They're my meal prep for the week, and they're absolutely incredible. Again, I use them as a meal prep, so they make great leftovers or prep for the week. They're the perfect pairing of sweet and gingery, just like a perfect teriyaki sauce would be. I had mine with some veggies and a little breadstick, and it was a fantastic, low point, low calorie lunch. You could also top a bed of rice or add some potatoes. You really can do a lot of things with meatballs, but these teriyaki ones, so delicious. Next up is another breakfast item, and this is another really popular recipe. And this is my oatmeal breakfast bakes. A lot of you have reached out and said that you've made this for your family on the weekend morning and that everybody absolutely loved it. It's such a versatile recipe. You can really use any fruit you want in it. I've done it with raspberries and peaches, blueberries, blackberries. It's absolutely delicious. I mean, truly, you can use any fruit that you want. It gives you oatmeal in a baked form. So it's very decadent and delicious. And again, it's another one of those breakfast recipes that you feel like you're cheating, but you're not. No favorite recipe list would be complete without my favorite Mexican dupe. I am obsessed with my beef and rice enchiladas. This is one recipe that my husband ate more than I did. I go to open it up for leftovers and they're almost gone because they were that good. Now I love enchiladas, but adding the rice to it just really bulked up the meal, made it very filling and satisfying. And again, it feels like a cheat meal, but it's not. This also makes excellent leftovers and would make an excellent meal prep as well. And you can control the spiciness of this recipe, which I appreciate because we're not big spicy food people. My next favorite is my ranch chicken and bacon. Oh my gosh, this is so delicious. It's so good. I mean, it's it's as delicious as its name. It's everything. It's savory from the ranch. It, the chicken comes out moist and tender. You pop in a little bit of bacon. It's very, very simple to make. It makes excellent leftovers. Another great option for a meal prep. It's a great family favorite. Even your kids love ranch. And if you can punch in a little bit of lean protein with the chicken for your family, this ranch chicken and bacon bake, amazing. And my last favorite is a dessert because I love dessert. And these are my chocolate chip cookie bars. Now with chocolate chip cookies, I can eat a lot of cookies. So I like to make these in a bar form because for me, I find that I am less likely to overeat them. I will go grab two or three cookies, but I generally will only have a bar. I don't know what it is about putting the chocolate chip cookie in a bar form, but it works for me. And these chocolate chip cookie bars are so delicious. It's an ooey gooey chocolate chip cookie in a fluffy bar. If you love chocolate and cookies, you'll love this recipe. Simple to make. It's done in a baking dish rather than individual cookies. And it keeps very well in the fridge or on the counter for several days. So those are my top 10 favorite recipes of all 
time. I gave you a little bit of everything, some breakfast, lunch, dinner, and some snacks and desserts. You can't go wrong with any of these 10 recipes. And don't forget, down in the comments, let me know if you want a second part to this series where I can give you 10 more favorites, or if you want specific favorite recipes, I can definitely do that as well let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a big, huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single video. I do upload at least five days a week, so you definitely don't want to miss out. I'll make sure my recipe website is also down in the description box where you can find all of the 10 recipes that I shared with you today, along with the meal planner, personalized macros and calories, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. We'd love to have you join that community as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, please leave any comments, questions, or suggestions for future videos down in the comment section for me, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!